investigating the tubes, the patency of the tubes in, in infertility or subfertility, there are various ways. The tubes are important, the fallopian tubes, which are the two tubes that uh, come out from the corners of the womb inside the tummy, because it's in the fallopian tubes that the sperm that travels up through the neck of the womb, through the womb, into the tubes, and the egg travels from the ovaries into the tubes and the fertilization uh, takes place inside the tube, after which the embryo or the zygote and the embryo goes into the womb and then starts developing there. Therefore, particularly in cases of natural fertility, if there is an infertility issue, during investigations, the patency of the tubes needs to be tested. There are generally three methods of testing the tubes. The first is HSG. HSG is called hysterosalpingogram. Hystero is the uterus, salpinges are the tubes, and gram is taking a picture of that. It's done in an outpatient setting, generally in the radiology department. A speculum, like in a smear test, is inserted in the vagina, and a little tube is inserted in the neck of the womb in the cervix. A little dye is pushed through the cervix and a series of x-rays are taken. It can be a little uncomfortable, but most women do tolerate it quite well. Hycosy, on the other hand, is done generally by fertility specialists, gynecologists, and again, a speculum is inserted, a little plastic tube is inserted inside the cervix and a dye is inserted and an ultrasound scan is done at the same time. In both these cases, because a dye is being uh, inserted into the uterus and is checked whether it comes out through the tubes uh, smoothly or not, to prevent any infection from traveling out the tubes and potentially damaging uh, the tubes, women ideally should be screened for uh, existing infections and an antibiotic should be given as a precaution. The third uh, procedure that may be done for uh, to check damage to the tubes or patency of the tubes is a laparoscopy and a dye test. Laparoscopy is a keyhole surgery uh, and therefore would involve a general anesthetic where a little cut, generally half a centimeter, is made in the belly button, in the umbilicus, and a little camera is passed through it. A second cut, in most cases, may need to be done, which is also again half a centimeter, through which one can inspect the organs in the tummy, and a dye called methylene blue, a blue dye is passed, is passed through the cervix from below, which then travels up the tube and spills into the tummy and is checked and inspected from the top. However, because laparoscopy is a much more invasive surgical procedure involving a general anesthetic, it obviously has more risks than an HSG and hycosy, and it's not an outpatient procedure, even though it is a day case procedure. Because of that, it is reserved for women where a pathology or a condition is suspected inside the tummy and in particular if that can be treated at the same time. As for example, if somebody had previous pelvic infections or surgery inside the tummy or a tube is suspected to be damaged because of infection surgery or a previous ectopic pregnancy, then a laparoscopy may be offered as a uh, to diagnose and possibly treat any scar tissue or any endometriosis at the same time. And again, if there is tubal damage, then uh, further treatment may be discussed, which may occasionally include tubal surgery, uh, but in many cases possibly will be IVF. Again.